A craft passed down from one generation to the next is how fashion designer Swade Jeve began his journey. Swade, who came from humble beginnings, says his interest in fashion began under the tutelage of his father, which later prompted him to further his studies through the Savile Row Academy to pursue tailoring on a larger scale. He explains that although tailoring was a legacy inherited from his parents, his love for agriculture also held a special place in his heart. When I got into tailoring, the depth that I took tailoring, it was too far to give up on it. Because it was both legacy from my parents and me having gone through the, the internship, the, the rigorous process with the Savile Row Academy. That was something I had to let go. And my passion for agriculture was still alive. So I had to find a way to merge the both worlds. Swade says he was forced to work outside of his comfort zone during the tailoring program, which focused on bespoke garments, a skill which he is grateful that he was able to gain to add to his already unique style of sewing. I already had um, experience with tailoring and sewing on machines. And the, ta the tailoring program, it was bespoke, bespoke, but when I found out about the program, it was actually hand sewing. And hand sewing for me was a nightmare. I disliked to hand sew because I found it was too slow. But then the value of the hand sewing, when I do some more research, I realize that this is very lucrative to do, even if it's time consuming. Bespoke tailoring is the highest level of tailoring internationally. It's luxury suit tailoring. It's the oud couture for suits. One of my main reasons for doing bespoke is to understand international standards. But something for me, what I want to do is create a Trinidad aesthetic or a Caribbean aesthetic, something that's synonymous to our culture. Although the fashion industry is a saturated market, Swade says what makes his work unique is the quality and service he offers while prioritizing the needs of his clients, a trait which would eventually concrete professional relationships with renowned persons in the entertainment industry and the corporate arena. My service is more interpersonal because so, I will take the person into consideration. I do work for executives like Ronald Walcott, um, Richard Smith, Farmanapi, Marshall Montano, Ola Tunji, Lubes, Young Brother. He shares how he intends to revolutionize the concept of fashion by merging his passion for agriculture. If it is that we produce in biodegradable fabric, fabric made from plant fiber, it will be not only cheaper on the market, it will be more economical to afford we could merge a network between Caribbean countries to collect biodegradable waste from farmers and process it back into fabric where we could afford locally for a reasonable wage and target export market. And I think that not only will cause social stability, but it will open an avenue for entrepreneurial development. While Swade strives towards continuing to produce work at a high standard, he has hopes of starting his own entrepreneurial business to train the next generation of tailors and designers alike. I am Keisha Marie Charles, giving voice to Generation Next for Twitter